Three, two, one, go. Fierce competition can bring out the best in soldiers. Pick it up. The soldiers of Task Force 31 Med hold a grueling multi-day competition to identify their soldier and NCO of the quarter, even while they perform their combat mission in Afghanistan. We only do stuff like this in garrison environment. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do it in a combat environment where it'd be more realistic and also to help motivate the soldiers uh, to help build right morale up while we're over here. It'll be fine. A total of 20 soldiers, including five NCOs and 15 junior enlisted troops, are competing in events ranging from combat life-saving to combatives. They are very important. It's a opportunity to train and do exercises that are similar to what we will face here. <laughs> soldiers from all over Afghanistan with a wide range of professions put their skills to the test and usually learn something from one another. But it was an excellent learning opportunity and the caliber of soldier that I'm competing against has been fantastic. Um, it's great learning experience overall, and when I become an NCO, I can uh, let my soldiers know that when I competed and I can give them advice on how to perform. Task Force 31 Med comprises around 400 soldiers in 16 units and operates all over the country. They include medical equipment technicians, medics, and behavioral health counselors. Even though they are not on the front lines, these soldiers are keeping their warrior skills sharp. Yeah, everyone's all beat up, bruised up. Uh, we all had a lot of fun. This fun represents the hard work of American troops, whose legacy is a safer nation where Afghans can develop their own forces. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Rich Stowell.